Hey, what's up everyone? Tedrick85 here, and today I'm going to be playing some viewer levels that, uh, people who watched my Mario Maker videos want me to play, so without further ado, let's go to Course World and do this. Now, I do want to make this a regular thing, just, that just depends on how many people submit levels in the comments, but, yeah, I, I did want to try to at least feature most of the comments that I got. As a matter of fact, I'll be showing off four levels here, which, as soon as I figure out how I get into bookmarks. <laughs> but anyway, the first level I'm uh, actually going to play is going to be a relatively easy one, which is from a person by the uh, by the name of the Lost Sabrosian. Well, that's his YouTube name. But um, anyway, I'm playing the easiest level that he got because for some reason I just could not find a particular level he wanted me to play, but I figured I'd pick the easiest. And there's his me name right there. As you can see, there's a 29.13% clear rate. Figured, you know what? This is a good level to set off with, so... And it's SML 1-1. As you can see here, it's a bit of a traditional level. I'm not sure the pipes actually lead anywhere, but I figured my, I might as well stay in the main area. I really don't want to... Just in case I happen to take a pipe that leads me to a shortcut to the end, and that would mean I would miss a good chunk of the level, which is what I don't want. I want to be able to show off all as much of the level as I possibly can. So... But yeah, very traditional looking level here. Most of the question blocks are 10 coin blocks, with the exception of these. This section reminds me of uh, World 3-2 of Super Mario Brothers a little bit. Figured I'd check all the question blocks to see if there's any other things in them, but most of them, like I said, are either one clock or ten clock blocks. I mean, ten coin, at uh, one coin or ten coin blocks, right? <laughs> but there you go, there's not really whole much as far as threats in this level, but this is a very, very nice level to begin with, and, um, yeah, I definitely do want to play some more Lost Tabrosian levels, and goes without saying, I'm giving this level a star because I, I really like how this level was laid out. I, I, I know some people might think it's easy, which it is, but... Very, very nice level to begin view, view, uh, viewer levels on, if I could speak English. <laughs> now this next level is from SMM Andrew. Well, again, that's his YouTube name. And this is Yoshi the Cutest of All Time. As you can see, that pixel art is awesome. How can you not like Yoshi? Yoshi is a cool dude. Which, come to think of it, I, I miss playing Yoshi's Woolly World. I'm gonna have to do that again on my own time. I'm, I know I had a blast recording it on my channel, and I've seen people uh, do a, pl uh, a blind playthrough of it. It's kind of got me in the mood to play it again as soon as I get some time off. I don't get a whole lot of time off these days, because I, I got a promotion at work not too long ago, so... Time off's been kind of hard to come by. As you can see, there's the green, blue, and pink varieties of Yoshi. Throughout this entire level, I wanted to finish as green Yoshi. I mean, no offense to blue and pink Yoshi, but... Okay, that part kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> but I do eventually make it up here. Which... I didn't even realize it at the time, but I didn't even need to do that, because the way forward is... through the my, uh, Mushroom Semi-Solid platform. Yeah, I don't know why I made this level harder than what it actually is. You know, I actually spent a good amount of time trying to find my way around here. But having said that, it's nice to actually get to see 
a good chunk of this level anyway, because I like to see what people come up with. Some people come up with some pretty cool things. So yeah, I was trying to find a way out, but at the same time, though, I do... Like I've just said, I like showing off what people did with their levels. And I like that one-up mushroom pixel art that, they, that he did. I thought that was a pretty cool touch. As you can see here, I'm still trying to figure my way out. Which, like I said before, I didn't even realize until later that I was able to go through these semi-solid platforms. And I figured I'd check the pipes just to see if there's anything in them, which I can't even access any of them, so that pretty much threw that out of the water. Might as well get rid of these munchers again. As you can see, that was the point where I realized, oh, I can actually go through these. <laughs> Hotobos are actually scary, I mean, are actually not as scary as what they appear. There's my green Yoshi again. Which, I was not happy to get hit there. I know I was a little bit reckless there, but still, I wasn't real thrilled about that. But luckily, it g I get a green Yoshi at the end. Yeah, that was a pretty cool level, which... I was being a dumb and made it much harder than what it needed to be, but... Yeah, I really enjoyed that level a lot, and like I said, it's from SMM Andrew, and this level gets a star because I really appreciate what he put into it. And I like the fact that I got to play as Yoshi too in the Super Mario Brothers style. Okay, next level is from... Huiswe. I know I'm butchering that name, but... This level is Unlu Ludique Coldplay Clock. Which, the one thing I do have to say about this level right off the bat is, it's a puzzle level. And, I have to be honest with you guys, I am not a fan of puzzle levels at all. I mean, when I play Mario Maker, I don't want to have to solve a puzzle, I just want to play a platformer. But having said that, though, I did want to give this a uh, I did want to give this level an earnest chance, which, as you can see here, there's a lot going on here. I'm sure if I spent enough time on this, I probably would have figured this puzzle out. But I did want to show off it. at least all the viewer levels I had bookmarked, so I really didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. But yeah, I am- I do not like puzzle levels at all. I mean, I mean, they're not even fun to watch. I know people like Ryu Kara and Carl Sagan play a lot of puzzle levels, and they're just not- they're just not fun. I mean, I appreciate the effort that people put into puzzle levels, you know, I'm not taking that away from them, but it's just not something that I just particularly want whenever I play a Mario Maker level. Yeah, I'm sure the solution is pretty much obvious to whoever, well, not whoever made this, but not only the creator, but people who have played this, but I did not want to spend a whole crap out of time on it. As you can see, there's a leaf right there, which... I should say, I, n I don't end up getting. Yeah, I really, really wanted to complete this level because even though this is a puzzle level, which I don't like, this is a viewer level, and I decided, you know what, 
they took the time out to give me this level to try out, so the least I can do is just give it an earnest shot. And I think it was around this point where I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna get anywhere with this, so... And for some reason, I can't start this level, which I would have if I would been able to, but... And Sarah played my course, which is awesome! <laughs> Thank you, Sarah! And last but not least, a Dimitri level. And for those of you that are not familiar with Dimitri, this guy makes some insanely hard levels. I mean, almost all the levels that he makes is Super Expert, which I should say, I don't play Super Expert levels either. Because that's just not, that's not my skill set. I'm not that great at this game, so I really don't really care to learn to do much about Super Expert, but... Having said that, I did want to give this level an honest chance, so... Might as well at least see some of what this level looks like. But yeah, what I'm going to end up doing is, all the makers that I feature on this video, I'm going to have a link to the Super Mario pages on in the description. And that way you guys that are watching this can check out the, their levels, because they are awesome creators, you know. I, like I said before, I'm not a fan of puzzle levels or super expert levels, but these people took time out, not only making these levels, but actually submitting them to me through the comments, and I do greatly appreciate that. As you can see here is a speedrun level. Which... It's not, I do like speedrun levels, which I had no idea what I was supposed to do there, so I just figured I'd quit while I'm ahead, but... Speedrun levels can be good if they're implemented correctly, and... Like I said, I don't know how to get past that last part, which I'm sure it's something obvious, but again, that's not my skill set. I don't play at super expert levels, so... But yeah, I want to thank all four makers for leaving me a comment to play their levels. I know I had a blast, and I certainly do want to make this a regular series, so hopefully I'll have another one of these out before you know it, so... But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know I enjoyed playing these levels, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.